wanted to shine light on this topic, and I'm going to do it because I should have to say in the things that go on. Because after the conversation with um, Stephen X last week, it kind of give I'm kind of obligated to talk about certain shit. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, man. I ain't with this shit. We were just talking about for the cameras start rolling. Go now, nah, that's gone too far right now. And I know that's what he want, and that's what they do to grab everybody's attention. But at this point, man, it's just like it's like the devil too prominent in rap, and it's like it's not even it's not um, covert. You said Lil Nas X. Yeah, but not even just him. It's just period. Because you got to even look at the other rappers leading up to him, him being a, a freak for the devil. A lot of the he rappers did, on, uh, I'm on demon time. He, uh, I was watching the, uh, who said it? But he said he's not saying he a freak for the devil. He said he fucked the devil. I mean, listen, if it's fuck the devil, you should have I mean, it would have been gay either way. <laughs> With the devil's thing. People be I, gay. Nah, I get it. I get it. But like, I get it. It's just like, it's not that. It, it, but that that ain't even it. Like that one action ain't even it. The fact that the devil was even there and it was, it. it's no point. If you're not talking about righteousness and fighting evil, what do you put the devil in your videos for? I don't expect to see a devil in nobody goddamn videos. Like, cause I'm gonna think you want some bullshit. See, I, I ain't watched the shit. I heard I, about it. I seen, I, you know, you know, I got I follow a lot of uh news outlets and shit. Oh, they been so posting. I, yeah, they posting it. So I, I go and I be reading articles and shit. Just I gotta stay see what's going on because like I got kids that's influenced and a lot of the time we don't listen to the music. Why we don't be knowing what's being said in the shit. Then you would come in the house. Just just imagine my mom hearing me for the first time saying, from the window to the wall, to the sweat drip down my ball. She like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, hey, where you hear that at? Not the shit on TV. <laughs> that shit on TV. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, you ain't, you can't even watch the TV. Ain't about nothing. They don't even care about that TV. It'll be that TikTok, bro. It'll be little shit like that. They get to see it. And when, when, when they let a person explain it a certain way, it makes somebody feel like, oh, oh I, I can see, I can understand your perspective. You know what I'm saying? And I think that today's topic for the show, I was, I was saying that when I was eating breakfast, it was perspective, bro. Because I'm, I'm looking around like. Everybody be having a different opinion on the topics of everything surrounding everything, but like specifically, like homosexuality is like is always taboo, especially when you're trying to have a career and in, in saying things. And and you know what I'm saying when your career involves people, you gotta be careful who you offend. And I don't offend anybody. I don't. I don't have no personal opinion towards homosexuality. I have my own preference towards life, and that's my preference. You know what I'm saying? I don't push that on nobody. And I just feel like certain things I don't want pushed on me. Like, I be watching little cartoons and shit. I was watching a show called The Loud House. Mm -hmm. right? And on The Loud House, they got a couple on there. It's two dads. And right. Only my thing was, my conflict with it was, I'm a dad, you feel me? And I'm not just a dad of like one kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm fathering several personalities, you know what I'm saying? So with that in mind, I'm like, I'm trying to understand, I got to understand that, you know, stuff happens, but cert certain stuff is coerced. You know what I'm saying? Like Definitely certain is. things are coerced and like stuff like that. I didn't used to see that on TV growing up. And I'm not saying, I'm saying it's not okay. I'm not gonna even shy away from what I'm not, what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's not okay. And I don't think that it's okay that they do that because not only that, it's a biracial couple. 
and the the black guy is kind of like the feminine one. And you know what I'm saying? I just don't. It's levels to the black guy getting fucked. Just being demasculine. You know what I'm saying? Like he not. Oh, right, 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 right. I I've like, never seen a lot. Is it a cartoon? Cartoon, bro. Because I, I watch cartoons because my kids watch cartoons. So sometimes, like when oh, they yeah. not. Around, when they not around, I go watch the stuff that they watch and be like, all right, let me see what y'all got going on. Like I play it, walk around, be catching little glimpses. And cause it's like the same, it's the same shit we watched growing up. It's just different graphics and shit. You know what I'm saying? Same storylines, mm -hmm. the nigga, bad idea, shit go bad, the end he fix it, boom, celebration. You know, same plot, same shit that we grew up on. So I'm like, all right, let me see what they telling y'all. Cause I grew up on Dexter's lab and my whole thing is I was trying to build something to take over the world. You feel me? Like, DD, get out of my laboratory. I'm on, I'm either Dexter or Mad Dog, one of them. I'm trying to do, I, I want a robot, all that. <laughs> like, that shit right there just kind of like, you know, I was talking to somebody about it and they're like, well, you gotta understand that some kids do see that at home. And I'm like, I get it. My kids don't see that at home. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta think with a lot of kids see a lot of shit at home. It's not like they got it. They got they don't never show representation of the poor black kid living in the trenches, going to school every day on the cartoons. You know what I'm saying? They don't really be. It ain't really so. So don't be trying to don't be trying to push one narrative or or push one you know one agenda further than the other. You know what I'm saying? Equality is equality. Like. If if gay get rights, black need to have rights also. Not it ain't no either or everybody need to be free. You know what I'm saying? But don't be trying to advance one agenda further than the other. Like you be pushing, they be pushing too much shit. And then they push it to the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even be saying that much shit like that on the shows that I watch. And I be watching like, you know, I watch Shameless, bro. Like <laughs> I watch. I watch Shameless and I don't even think it's that geeked up. I think I thought the Empire was too much and I watch Shameless. You know what I'm saying? Like for some Fox Five shit, Empire was too goddamn much. There was too much going on. What you mean? Too much. Just too much. I don't know. Just certain shit you. You only used to can see growing up when I was growing up on TV, you could only see it on HBO and Showtime, like certain levels of affection and shit like that. It's just like, oh, this shit, this shit too out there. Damn, hold up. <laughs> like, you know, like my parents could just, just put a block on certain channel ratings and you ain't gonna see shit. Like now it's like, bro, this shit everywhere, bro. You can't even put a block on the kids' shows. I mean, you gonna have to put a block on the kids' shows, like. Then Lil Nas X, like in particular, his music stream mostly the kids. His music is for them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think this the nigga that had that made old town road. This nigga had grown ass men singing that song, bro. As well as little kids, like it was a trigger for little kids. He made 666 pair of shoes and the shit got, they said got healed with blood and this shit. This told, they said he made 666 pair of these shoes and they got human blood in it. Human blood? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's some weird shit. It's getting, it's getting too weird now, right? And that's that's why I started off with the video because then I had to lead up, I had to follow up with that. The dude got the shoes that's coming in. It's like you doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it, it ain't even the fact. I mean, I think that I I think that I see I see the gift at, even in the in the curses. You know what I'm saying? Like I be seeing, I can see the front of my enemies like shit. So 